The first step to solving your problems is identifying them. And to do that, you just write them down. Be as explicit and detailed as you can manage without overwhelming yourself. And once you've adequately described your problems, and you've written them all down, you should already be feeling better because you took what probably felt like a heavy burden and you summed it up with a few words. That's powerful. You're powerful. Acknowledge that. Now, I invite you to notice that the words which frame certain circumstances in your life as a problem are just that, words. And the meaning of those words is not inherent in the circumstances of your life. I'm going to say that again. The meaning of your words is not inherent in the circumstances in your life. The meanings that we apply to reality are not absolute truth. The circumstances are what they are. The way you describe them, the meaning you apply to them, is your own making. And while other people may agree with the definitions you've chosen, those definitions are not inherent in the circumstances. You create meaning. And as you apply that meaning to yourself, your life, your world, that meaning informs your experience. The beliefs you hold determine the way that you perceive and the way that you orient yourself in relation to your experience. So you render your reality according to your ideas about it. With all that said, look at your problems and pay attention to the way that you describe them. Now that you know that there is no objective meaning in your life or experience, can you identify any limiting beliefs in the way you describe your problems? If you can, that's great. If not, that's okay too, because your problems and limiting beliefs will naturally present themselves as you identify and gain clarity about what you really want, which I intend to talk about in the next video. I talk about it quite a bit, but I'm going to go specifically into this as a uh, elicitation of limiting beliefs. In, in the meantime, I invite you to integrate the comprehension that you create meaning and apply it to your experience. And notice that you are free to weave any meaning in and out of the tapestry of your life.